I'm Greg Colvin, and uh, I've been working um, almost two years, maybe, on the Ethereum virtual machine. That's been my work, and I've, I'm technically half time at Ethereum, so that's it's been enough to keep me busy. So both working to improve its performance and working on a proposal for a, a new machine. And as, as my talk went, that's, that's been work in parallel with the eWASM work. Yeah, my bet is we're gonna go with eWASM. And my, my bet is we'll regret it, but maybe not. My second level bet is that eWASM will fail in the web space like um, yeah, every other attempt to establish a binary format on the web. Um, and it might, it might succeed gloriously in the blockchain space. <laughs> Just like Java failed uh, on the web pages and turned out to be magic on web servers. The EWASM roadmap like just showed up in my mailbox this morning. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we've got the work to get the get the code integrated with the client, um, get a test net set up, um, and uh, you know validate that, that we can get it working uh, across the across the network and on the chain. The sense of community is growing, partly with the growth of the community itself. Yeah, um, for better and worse, it's less of a family, more of a community. Still a lot of closeness. Still the interesting contrast between out at the periphery. There's all kinds of stuff, but there's a fair amount of just uh, paranoia and greed. You know, you can't be paranoid enough in the crypto space and there's so much money involved that there's, you know, a lot of people just looking for how am I going to get rich on this stuff. But inside the community you don't see that. I think my EVM work might be sort of sort of coasting to a conclusion. You know, the interpreters working pretty smoothly. There's things we could do to speed it up, but the C++ client's already far and away the fastest one we have. Um, and we're, the JIT compiler's almost as good as, the, as, the, as native code. So I suspect we'll leave that be, as, especially if we start moving to eWASM. Um, and that tends to be primarily compiled, so we'll have to think, are there, are there devices that you know, aren't going to have a compiler, but we still want to run nodes on? Possibly in the light client world, the answer will be yes, but likely no, because the uh, sort of the number of chips has sort of been condensing. They're no longer <laughs> spreading, spreading out into a million different chips you have to support. There's you know, I don't know if there's even a difference anymore between the chips that Androids and iPhones use. Um, some difference in the programming model, but you know, it's, you know, so I, I don't know the answer there, if we even still need an interpreter for very long, you know, or if we're gonna move completely to compiler technology. But it's, it's early, you know, that panel discussion was actually about the first time we had time to sit down together and discuss some pros and cons. And a, a panel discussion in front of a huge crowd is not the right venue yeah, to, to really hammer out a technical discussion. We don't enough, and I've been pushing, and I'm gonna push harder to say that DevCon is cool, but we need working sessions. Um, like ITF has, language committees have, of no, we gather for the purpose of discussing, debating proposals and making technical decisions. Yeah, and that happens here, but it's random. I, I do like the idea of, you know, this completely decentralized database. You know, um, this, this was, when anyone asked me about what they want to do on the blockchain, 
If they have money, the first thing I say is, well, why don't you just use Oracle? And if they don't have money, well, why don't you just use MySQL? And if the answer is, you know, it cannot be centralized or there is nobody who could maintain it centralized or we simply don't have the money to set up centralized servers, you know, then it, then it starts to look attractive and then it becomes a matter of well, how much data are you trying to store? Because <laughs> um, you're going to be storing it on, you know, the SSD drives of a very large number of computers all over the world. Um, <laughs> Uh, so do you really think your data is worth the, the drag on that system? These conferences are tiring, you know, but I'd like to see the working sessions, which are exhausting in a completely different way. It's not, you know, it's not the tiredness of, of meeting lots of people you don't know and talking to them, the tiredness of sitting through sessions, it's the tiredness of sitting around a table and intensely debating, you know, you know, difficult technical proposals, you know, and the, actually the pleasure, you know, of putting a proposal out and having some of the smartest people in the world tear it to shreds.